General Washington and his men rode across the Delaware to surprise the Hessians. At Gettysburg, Pickett's men charged on foot across an open field into a withering hail of fire. General Pershing's expeditionary force steamed across the Atlantic and marched to the battlefield. Battles during these earlier wars went on for weeks, even months. During Desert Storm, by contrast, we swept the Iraqi army from the field in 100 hours. In Operation Iraqi Freedom, we drove into Baghdad and toppled Saddam in 21 days. One of the greatest contributors to this leap in military capabilities has been Operational Energy. Operational Energy is the energy and related systems, information and practices that enable military operations. It is fundamental to our operating concepts, which emphasizes the need for synchronized maneuver and sustainment. Energy is vital to operational performance and other important attributes such as freedom of movement, flexibility, endurance, protection, and resilience. An army no longer travels on its stomach. Today it uses energy, and lots of it, to accomplish virtually every task. Operational energy generates combat power. In Iraq and Afghanistan, we deliver 15 to 20 gallons of fuel per soldier every day to sustain everything from transportation to hot water. Dismounted soldiers carry their energy on their backs batteries are essential. A company of 120 soldiers must carry over 600 pounds of them for a 24-hour mission. Energy is more precious in forward areas where long hazardous supply lines add to its fully burdened costs in dollars and more importantly in injuries and casualties. We must examine how to use energy to maintain superiority without creating vulnerabilities that our enemies can exploit. Energy has become an important planning factor for commanders, not only to sustain soldiers, but as a key part of the mission. The Army must improve its energy use in theater to increase the tooth-to-tail ratio. By monitoring our energy use, we will be better able to manage fuel and water more effectively, resulting in fewer convoys on the road, fewer miles driven, and fewer targets for ambush in IEDs. In the past decade, Army doctrine has come to recognize the importance of military operations other than war, like humanitarian assistance and creating stability. Our efforts in Iraq and Afghanistan have reinforced the importance of energy in restoring and maintaining civil order. The new Army capstone concept foresees a future operational environment of uncertainty and complexity in an era of persistent conflict. Future armed conflicts will test Army forces in new ways. To meet this challenge, the Army must develop operational adaptability. Energy and its uses will be vital to that development. Operational energy enables the full range of Army missions. The Army must take a holistic approach to energy, considering all its facets. At home stations, the Army must use energy in cleaner and more efficient ways, essentially changing our culture of energy use. These new habits will pay off at home and most importantly in theater where the price for wasting energy is much higher. Improved energy technology will ensure operational success. Smart grids, rechargeable batteries, more efficient devices and other energy advances will increase operational capabilities, reduce energy use and lighten the soldier's load. The Army will continue to encourage and foster research and development for energy innovations. Additionally, the Army will work with the private sector to commercialize these innovations that benefit both military and private sectors. Operational energy can no longer be taken for granted. We must strive to make it a force multiplier, not a net vulnerability. Operational energy. How we obtain it, how we use it, how we renew it, both at home and in theater, will be crucial to our national security.